Well, what a jolly nice week and weekend I have had. Welcome to my second week in Bucharest, plus a couple of little bits from Bulgaria. hopefully starting this week with um, Chris's footage of uh, crossing the River Danube because uh, I know that a lot of people drive to Bulgaria and there's lots of different ways to do it and I can heartily recommend, according to Chris, the ferry journey. So uh, the first week when he brought me here, we went across the road, um, I think it's a barrier then, it makes it sound like we're on the cannonball run. Um, we went across the road border at Rousse, which is always a bit of a free-for-all. It's never a particularly pleasant experience. Um, but obviously, there's roadworks on the Peace Bridge now for the next two years. Um, yeah, it was fine on the way out. No problem. We got lucky. The little man turned his paddle to green just as we got there. On the way back, Chris waited for about two hours to get across the bridge. Uh, he didn't enjoy himself. So people in the village said, well, why don't you try the, the crossing at Spishtov? Because that's only 10 minutes away from our village. Uh, so he gave that a go last week. Uh, and he said it was miles better. Uh, it's, it's about 30 lev, I think, to go across it. Uh, it's, it. I think they charged him 27 for him by himself. I don't know what they charged him this weekend with the dogs, whether they charged him any more. Uh, but it, it's just dead straightforward. And in theory, it runs on a timetable. In, in actuality, it goes when it's ready to go. You know, if it's half empty, it'll wait a bit, see if anybody else gets on it. Uh, so, yeah, so he, he trundled back on that uh, last weekend. And this weekend, he came back again and he brought the dogs, which was lovely, uh, except I chose the worst weekend in the universe to say bring the dogs because it's been the Romanian air show this weekend. Um, we have literally had like those massive stealth jets, they can't call them stealth, the noise they make, those huge fighter jets doing loop-de-loops over the top of the apartment. Honestly, once or twice, I thought that they're, they're actually coming in. They were so loud, those horrible sonic booms, uh, which put the fear of God into all the dogs. Uh, we took them for a walk on Saturday and they started again while we were out for the walk. And poor Ellie, she was just like, running around desperately in circles looking for somewhere to hide from them uh so yeah not not the best weekend to choose to bring them plus to be honest we love this apartment we really love it it's not particularly dock friendly we're on the third floor uh obviously we've got a balcony uh we don't really want them peeing and pooing on the balcony but you know in a patch if a pinch if they had to but they can't differentiate between indoors and outdoors it's all just stone floor um so yeah we've been having to run them downstairs like force them into the lift ellie's the only one who'll get in the lift monica and bella are like oh what's happening um about 85 times a day to get them to do a wee and a poo and then bringing them back up again um yeah it's not ideal but we'll, we'll work it out we'll work it out we keep saying to ourselves well you know once chris has got his residency he has to spend half his time here uh half his time in bulgaria We'll work out how to get the dogs there and back and everything um, and, and get them trained to understand in the apartment. But my God, the mess. I got home. He went home this morning with them. And I got home this evening and I thought, you know, I'd, I'd swept up at four o'clock yesterday afternoon. It was, I've, I've, I've got a whole dustpan just full of dog air. Uh, they, they are such mucky creatures. But all had to have a bath when they got here. They absolutely stunk, you know, from being outdoors and having such a good time in Bulgaria for the last six weeks. Yeah, so apart from that, so I've got that to show you. Chris has done a bit of um, additional stuff in his workshop, built some more shelves. He's done some gardening, cut a wild tree down, um, cut some greenery down because that's all growing out of control again. Um, I've been at work all week. Kids came back on Wednesday. They're lovely. No problems there. Uh, yeah, I really, I really like it. I'm really glad I came here, and I'm really glad I took this job. Plus, you know, I can't believe how reasonable the cost of living is here. Um, I'm easily going to be able to send money home to the savings and make sure we pay our way back in the UK. Um, 
and we're still going to be able to live a good life. It's not going to be like in Azerbaijan because we still have that huge mortgage and, um, you know, so many massive bills in that big old house. Uh, and, and I was living on pennies and sawdust. It was awful. Whereas here we can, we can enjoy ourselves. So Chris arrived Friday, forgot to put the bit where you click on the ring road in his map. So I had negotiated the center of Bucharest, which to me is just terrifying. Uh, finally made it here. So we tried the Glovo app for, I'm just looking, I've missed a bit of fluff under the table. Um, tried the Glovo app, which is like Walt was in Azerbaijan's like um, just eight in the UK. Um, and we got burger and chips from the Glovo app. That was absolutely lovely. Really nice, really enjoyable, dead straightforward. They pull up because nobody's quite sure what number. All of all of this whole thing, which is about you know half a mile long, is all number eighty six. Uh, but we've all got different names and different letters on the front of our apartment. So they pull up where they think you might be, and then they phone you and say, "Lady, I'm here." But unfortunately, although my phone takes text messages on my Romanian number, it doesn't seem to make phone calls. So I need to go back to Vodafone and have a look at that. Um, and then Saturday, we stayed in most of the day because we didn't want to leave the dogs on their own because, you know, they'd have eaten furniture. Um, but late afternoon, we obviously took them downstairs a few times. Late afternoon, we said we'd meet my new friend, Joy, who um, she's the one I went for the coffee with before I started work, and her partner. So we took uh, all our dogs for a walk through the forest. I found the stray dogs. They're all in the forest. Uh, and they're a bit scary. They're all barking and growling at you and just trying to disappear into the foliage so you won't hurt them. It's very sad, really. And on our way back from our walk, we went past the zoo park where all the little bars and restaurants are. So we stopped in the barbecue meat restaurant, which is hilarious because um, the man who runs it, the sign is basically a little caricature of his face uh, and it, it is the, the likeness is uncanny. Uh, he looks like Benny Hill. Um so we had something called michi, which is like a little, I think in Bulgaria we'd call it kebabchi. It's a little pork, like sausage kebab type thing and some fries. And, and we just had far too much to drink, far too much. Um, because it was one of those, like, Joy and I were on the Aperols, then uh, Francis and Chris were on the beer. And they kept running out of beer when we were halfway down an Aperol. And then they'd still have a beer, so we'd get another Aperol and then they'd have another beer again because we still had most of our Aperol. Um, it was just, I just woke up on Sunday going, oh my God, I'm going to die. Um, but it was nice. It wasn't like that wild drinking and partying that all the expats did in Azerbaijan, which isn't my cup of tea at all. It was, it was civilised, you know, we had meal and things. Staggered home, got the dogs home, uh, and then Sunday went for another big walk in the forest. Poor Monica, she's so unfit because she's not had a walk for ages because of the heat the other two at least have like chased toys in the garden when it, when the heat's gone off but she just sort of sits there going ar, 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 and things and then joy and francis came around for sunday dinner so i did a lovely sunday dinner for them and they brought angus who's their fluff ball who is absolutely gorgeous he's not like a dog at all he's like a teddy bear and i love him um then he's so cheeky like i had a ascertained I could give them a treat and I had them all lined up and I was giving them a little bit of meat and he kept moving to different places in the queue so he was getting extra it's like I, no you've not fed me I, I, I wasn't number one in the queue I'm, I'm number three and now I'm number five and there's only four dogs um he was brilliant and then yeah Chris went this morning and just a lot Monica in the apartment because he thought he'd got all three dogs and he hadn't um, he had to come to work where the security man quite rightly wouldn't let him in um, to get the key because we've only got the one key. He's just made it back. He's messaged me. I've come home, uh, cleaned most of the apartment, just got the bedroom and the bathroom to go do now. I do the floors again. They still don't look right. Um, and another nice week ahead of me. Yeah. So that's me. Um, I've got this week I've got for you eating out, drinking far too much Aperol, um, a bit of shopping that I did. Uh, and the forest, and some bugs, some interesting red bugs, uh, and some photos from what Chris has been up to in Bulgaria. And that's it from me. So, uh, any questions, ask away. I can firmly recommend Bucharest and tell you what you need to know. Uh, but in the meantime, peace out.
Not the best walker, are you, Monica? Hunted away, Monica. You should either be drinking water. I guess I'm not. I don't like that. Always. Well, I saw some in uh, Aldi. I thought I'd better get Chris some mustard. And it said dulce, which is sweet. You can get packets, mix, or whatever. That's your problem. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Angus. You okay? Shake your pom pom. Says there's more. Surely there's more food. Is this more food, Mister? Excuse me, Mister. More dinner? <laughs> You're gorgeous. I've just had some food delivered because they have the delivery apps here. I just want to show you what you can get for just over a tenner in this country. So, I've got four of these nice fresh little bread rolls. Unfortunately, they cancelled my chicken. I've got ten eggs. I've got a kilo of parsnips. I've got 500 grams of mushrooms. I've got uh, a litre of milk. I've got one, two, three, four, five strawberry yogurt, a bag of pasta, a kilo of carrots, uh, a tub of passata, a kilo of onions, you tell them I'm on the soup again, a kilo of potatoes, and some healthy cream cheese, and a little wheel of cashew and that came to 70 lei which is 60 lei roughly as a tenner, so it's about, it's about 11 quid. Um, and the chicken was 10 lei, but unfortunately they cancelled that bit of my order. So your shopping's cheap here. <laughs> 